It's always a pleasure coming your way with Let's Talk Entertainment here on your favorite news channel, Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Becky Settle, and I'll be back with all the stories that you need to hear in the world of entertainment. So welcome back. If you just join us, you're logged on to the Joy News channel. The show is Let's Talk Entertainment. Today, let's start with Jane Farah Fozia Awendo. I'm talking about the Ghanaian songstress Sophia. After her Genesis album, she is, you know, planning to release a song. Yes, I won't tell you the title of the song because Ifia has it right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. <laughs> Just there in the US, Sophia is back with lots of surprises up her sleeves. Sophia's trip was characterized by a number of achievements, such as her performance at the legendary Sound of Brazil and then picking up the Best Female Act Award at the Ghana Entertainment Awards in New York. Not relenting on her promises to feed her fans with good music, Ifia has announced the release of a new song. The song titled Until the Dawn was produced by British-born Nigerian record producer and recording artist Malik Berry. He has produced music for numerous top-notch artists such as Mr. Easy and Yemi Alade of Nigeria, as well as UK-based Fuse ODG of Ghanaian descent. The song is expected to take Ghana by storm, as well as winning some awards. <laughs> That was beautiful song, Stress A Fear for You. We can't wait for that particular song to, you know, which is set to take Ghana by storm. Congratulations to you on your US store, A Fear. Congratulations to you on everything that you're doing, putting Ghana on the map. Let's move on and talk about Kwabana Kwabana. Now, he uh, is set to release or launch his biography. Yes, I mean, I don't know um, uh, what th these stars are doing this these days. You, they're trying to write. Uh, things about themselves so that probably when they pass I mean you don't really have anything to write about but well Kwabna Kwabna uh, is set to launch his biography and of course we have details right here on Let's Talk Entertainment <laughs> Past days ahead will be readily available as an e-book and hard copy at the launch. The new book, according to the musician's management, was written to give a guide for Kobna Kobna's brand and partners. According to the author Erica Fiadu, the book, Past Days Ahead, is deep, insightful and touching. The event is expected to draw audience from the literary circles, entertainment industry, as well as influential members of the Ghanaian society. The event comes off on June 23. All right, let's move away from Kwabna Kwabna and talk about Lyrical. Lyrical is from Trinidad and Tobago, and he is in town to, you know, shoot a music video with Miss V that he featured on a song with Miss V and he is in town to shoot the music video Miss G caught up with both of them and they've been talking right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. Born Devon Martin 
Artis Lyrical, like many others, developed the flair for singing at a tender age in the church choir. However, his love for music remained the passion until 2003. Although Lyrical is a soccer Artis, as a young star, he took inspiration from the likes of Shabaranks, Bujibantin, Bob Marley, and Supercut. Soca music is joyful music. The music what we do, the music Miss V do is joyful music. It's nothing, excuse me, it's nothing violent about it. We're not preaching no violence to tell people and them go and commit a crime or go and do this or, you know, sell itself short or anything. So we just playing, we just doing what God put well, us Monday, on the road to do. I met up with Lyrical at the studio of Lynx Entertainment here in Accra. This is his first time in Africa. He is here to shoot a video of his collaboration with dancehall artist Miss V titled Calypso. Me, I just wine pan it, wine pan it, and sit pan it in and grind pan it, hey, wine pan it, wine work, sit pan it. He tells me how the African rhythm influences his tunes back home. The melodies and everything and the and the rhythms is so infectious and it's inspired me a lot to, to write to the melodies because our music, if you listen to soca music too, is based, especially now, is based on a lot of melodies right the now. The music rhythm inspires you to yeah. And a, a lot of artists, right now it have a genre, it have an actual genre in soca music called Afro Soca. The Trinidadian and the Ghanaian throw light on the leverage working together brings them as artists. We need to spread our culture back here to the motherland as well you know back to our roots as well you know it's very very important to us to spread miss v and do the same here you know i mean we're trying to move things from a certain small place to a wider you know circle so trinidad is an addition and it's a huge addition i'm really happy to be doing this collaboration with him because there are so many people who haven't even heard my name before miss v came under huge criticism after a nomination for the 2016 Black Entertainment Television Awards. She was nominated for the Best International Act. The concern of her critics was that she had no international collaboration. Does this collaboration with Lyrical put an end to that? I never paid any mind to any of those things. You know me, you've known me for I some time. I don't know you. I don't listen to any of I those things. I don't know you, I'm asking Let me tell question. you why. Because I have a plan, mm -hmm. and they have plans, and they do their work, and I'm doing my work. This is, this is work for me. This is work, this is fun, but this is work. <laughs> Make me what take you from the party to my bed. See you moving your body from a distance. Want to get close to you like your assistant. Feel your vibration in every location. Winding up low like the eyes of an Asian. Body, I want your body. Give you this thing like a bee for your honey. Just cause your wine make my eye like the bird. Then my fly make me feel like I just pop a molly. With your wine in dedication and sexy persuasion. Go down like deflation, up like elevation. Your wine in Persian turn me on like a station. You have the sweetest sensation. Gala, what you? Dance Calypso, dance Calypso, dance Calypso. I lost my profession. Dedication and sexy persuasion, go down like deflation, up like elevation. Your wine inversion, turn me on like a station. You have this with this sensation. I love the way I dance Calypso. from Miss V and Lyrical and talk about George and Amal Clooney. Congratulations is in order for uh, the couple who gave birth to twins yesterday. Yes, uh, we, we are still waiting for Beyonce's twins. But before that, let's take excerpts of, you know, George and Amal, two years on. Look, it's exciting and we're, uh, we're really happy and really excited and it's going to be an adventure. Day one of their journey happens now. George and Amal welcome their precious set of twins this morning. 
The couple went with traditional names, Ella and Alexander, which ranked 12th and 16th in terms of most popular in America. The couple's joint statement of the insider perfectly portrays Clooney's self-deprecating humor while encapsulating their complete elation over becoming parents. Quote, Ella, Alexander, and Amal are all healthy, happy, and doing fine. George is sedated and should recover in a few days. It's believed them all gave birth in her hometown of London. She's not been seen out in public there since April 6th at the Promise premiere. Last week, George made it known the birth was imminent when he skipped a humanitarian event in Armenia to stay by her side. I really would have been there, but uh, if I came there and my wife had twins while I was there, I could never come home. And today, we celebrate the full transformation of George, who was once Hollywood's most happily single bachelor. That is, until he met them all in 2013. You know, I feel like I've, uh, I've met the, the exact right person. I, I think we both feel incredibly lucky to have found each other. And no one is loving family man George more than his Hollywood dad squad. My favorite part is, you know, all my friends who are my age, and I have many of them, I've already done this, like you. There, the kids are all growing up yeah, on the yeah. way to college, and they're laughing. <laughs> That's exactly what good friend and father of four Matt Damon told us the day Amal's pregnancy news broke. It's funny. I think most of his close friends, like that, he's been around for 30 years. Like all their their kids are like leaving the nest now. Right. So now George is going to be the one with the, uh, you know. The full nest. And while George is given Oscar nominated performances, channeling his inner fatherly instincts. Can you please not beat to a pulp every miserable bastard who comes your way just because you can? Can you just not do that? Okay, Daddy. The real good job you're doing. That's part of why I brought you here. You have to help me with her. I don't know what to do with her. In the past, George told us taking that role off script is something he never thought would happen. You would make a good dad. Do you want kids? So too. I, what I want to do is I'm looking to adopt very successful people. Someone who's already been reared and gotten the house education. Trained. House trained. I did that. I got a dog from the from the uh, pound that was already house trained. I didn't have to do it, yeah. so that makes sense to me. All right, and that's it for Let's Talk Entertainment, today's edition. A very big thank you to Doreen of you for uh, doing the production. Ike as well. My name is Becky, and this has been Let's Talk Entertainment.